Hey, uh, hi, Grandpa. How's it going? Hello, David. How are you, man? How was your weekend? Good. So, uh, great, great. And yours? I was good, man. It was pretty good. I um, went to a friend's house and we had a party. It was pretty good, actually. I like it. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> yes. Sounds good. It's pretty awesome, man. Pretty awesome. Anyways, uh, what about you? What, what do you do? Where did you go? Me? Sorry. Yes, yes. Where did you go? Um, yeah, some friends went to my house and do a barbecue. Oh, nice, nice. They had a barbecue. That's, that's and then cool. we went to the beach. And... Nice, nice. What beach did you go to? Uh, Tunco Beach. Oh, you went. Nice, man. Nice. I don't consider the Tun you know, Tunco Beach to be the best one in El Salvador. But you know, it's it's out there. I don't think it is the best, but a lot of people go there. Yes. Um, so if you want to meet people from other countries, I guess that's a good option where to go, you know. So yeah. that's great, man. Hey, Ricardo, welcome. How's it going, man? Hi. Um, I'm great. Good. All right. Yes. Great. Great. How was, how was your weekend? Well, was short. Too short? <laughs> yes, too short. That's a good answer. Okay, yeah, it's always, when you're having fun, you know, it's always too short, huh? Okay. I need um, that. Yeah, man, I know, I know. What about you, Ingrid? How was, how was your weekend? Everything great? It's not here. How about yours, uh, Maria Belen? How was your weekend? Did you work out? Yes, of course. <laughs> Great. So, so what do you do? Where did you go? Uh, we went to uh, visit a friend and uh, taco. Really? Yes. Uh, let me see. And Saturday, I worked. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's that's great. So that's great. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, Rafael, welcome, uh, Ingrid, David. Hilda. One thing I wanted to bring up to you guys is, um, guys, we we do have a class on the fifteenth. Okay. All right. So yes, we do have a class on the fifteenth. Right. We only have four days to go, guys. So today, you know and three more days after this, right? So we only have this week and we're done, okay? So you need to finish the platform as soon as possible, guys, okay? You need to finish the platform ASAP, okay? Anyways, guys, so uh, let's get started, all right? Today, guys, we're gonna talk about imagination, right? We're gonna talk about unreal situations, okay? So uh, when we talk about unreal situations, guys, there is a topic called Unreal conditionals, okay? So unreal conditionals, guys, or second conditionals, or present unreal conditionals, you know, it's the same thing, right? All right. Um, it's, a, it's a grammar structure to talk about situations that are imaginary, okay? To talk about situations that are what, guys? That are? Unreal. Imaginary, okay? All right, so it's all about imagination guys okay all right very good so that's what unreal conditionals are for the case are for so uh, this today's agenda guys uh we're gonna do that and it's usually as usual guys we're gonna have some practice at the end okay so uh, today's objective uh ricardo help me read okay by the end of this class participants will learn 
and understand the use of unreal conditional sentences with it clauses. Okay, very good. All right, if we don't understand that right now, guys, it's okay. All right, we'll understand that soon enough. Okay, very good. So we're, we're basically, you know, we're just gonna talk about conditionals, okay? All right, guys, so uh, what is an unreal conditional? All right, so in simple terms, guys, what is an unreal conditional? The answer is right in front of you guys. What is it? It is? Imaginary situation. Imaginary situations, right? Situations that are not real, okay? Situations that might become real one day, right? But they are not real, okay? They're just in your head, okay? So that's an unreal conditional, all right? For example, do you have a million dollars? Uh, million, do you have a million dollars? In your bank account. No. Wouldn't it, would it be a great surprise, guys, if she said, "Yes, I do, right? I'm just, I'm just saving, but I have one million dollars already." Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay, not yet. Okay, that's a good answer. See. All right. Wouldn't you like to have a million dollars? Yes. Of course, right? So see, imaginary situations, right? Because, right. All right, that's only if you're a diputada, right? We're good. No, uh, you know, it could be, right? So, all right, very good. Win the lottery? Well, if you if you win the lottery, right? If you uh, if you win the nothing here, right? Very good, okay. Um, Ricardo, do you have a Lamborghini? Uh, serious, Lamborghini? Yeah, do you own a Lamborghini, yes or no? Uh, no. No, right? Would you like to have a Lamborghini? And no, because in this in this country we don't have uh, oh, yeah. the, the the streets uh, proper streets. The proper streets, okay, All right? No, I wouldn't, right? But your answer in that case would have been, I wouldn't, right? Because it's still, you know, even if you want, if you don't want to, right? It's still, it's in a real situation, right? It is imaginary. First, because we don't have. We don't have uh, a Lamborghini. Well, he doesn't have a Lamborghini, right? I do. No, I don't, we don't have a Lamborghini, guys, right? Um, but, uh, and secondly, guys, because um, we we're, we're just imagining that situation, okay? I forgot what I was going to say, all right? So, in basic terms, guys, imaginary situations, right? So, uh, let's do a quick, let's do a quick, a quick uh, warm up, guys, okay? What would you do if you had a million dollars? Uh, Jenny, welcome, Jenny, nice to see you. How are you? Everything good? Good, thank you, teacher, good evening. All right, very good. So, Jenny, tell me, what would you do if you won a million dollars? So you can start like this, right? This is how you, you, see, you need to answer. If I won a million dollars, I would, and here, you're gonna give me, I would buy a car, I, I don't know, whatever, I right? Mm. If I won a million dollars, I want a big house and a new car, and I don't work anymore. <laughs> okay, I would I would build a new house. Okay, now you say I I I what I don't work anymore. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, you said that, right? Don't work anymore? Okay, very good. Very good, good job. Plus for Jenny, guys, good job, Jenny. All right, very good, okay. Now we're gonna analyze your answers later, okay? Right, David, what would you do if you won a million dollars? Um, I will invest in real estate. Okay, all right. So would invest in real estate, okay, good job. All right, very good. Ricardo, what would you do? I will buy a lot of houses for friends. Buy a lot of houses for friends, friends. okay, very good. No, for friends. For what? A rent. Oh, for, for rent, okay. I thought for friend, I was like, he's a nice, <laughs> nice guy. <laughs> for rent, <laughs> okay. 
Uh, very good. Hilda, what will you do, Hilda? What will you do if you want a million dollars? Oh, you're, you're mid. But I, I, me, teacher, I would like to buy um, a, the biggest, uh, the smart TV in the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so okay, could you please repeat the sentence again? Could you please repeat your answer again? If I want, uh, if I, uh, uh, I want million dollars, me? Yeah, if I want a million dollars, I would. Uh, I uh, no, I will, I will buy. Uh -huh. uh, the biggest uh, smart TV in the world. Okay, TV in the world. Okay, very good. Good job. Um, good job. Thank, thanks a lot. Okay, teacher. Uh, Jose Ilham, what will you do, Jose? Start. Everybody, do me a favor. Start writing down your examples, okay? Because I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask everyone. Okay, so send me an example in the chat room, and then you can give me that example that you sent. Okay. All right, Jose Ilham, what, what will you do, Jose? Uh, hello. See. Yes. Well, what will you do? What will you do if you want a million dollars? Yeah. I would buy um, a TV. Okay. Yes. What? All right. Think about your answer. Okay. Right, Giovanni. What will you do? Giovanni. Oh, Giovanni. hi. I, um, I buy a big office and start a new business. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, Rodrigo, what will you do, Rodrigo? Uh, I would like to uh, make a long trip around the world. Uh, spend the like, title. I would like make what you said? A uh, long trip around the world? A round trip, okay. I'm going to leave yeah. just because of the space, okay? Good job, Rodrigo. Yeah. Thank you. It's, All right. Spend, spend, uh, spend a lot uh, a quantity and uh, other things. For example, increase uh, my collection of... Uh, uh, I have a cars. I got uh, four cars. And uh, I love the old car, older cars. You love all your cars, huh? Do yeah, you? yeah, I love. Great, great. All right, good job, uh, Jenny. What will you do, Jenny? Oh no, no, Jenny. Hey, I, I, I you. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. All right, Maria, Maria. What will you do, Maria Belen? If I won a million dollars, I would like to travel too with my family. I would what? To travel with my family. Okay. But can you repeat the whole sentence again, please? If I won a million dollars, I would like to travel with my family. Okay, like to travel with my family, okay? All right, Rafael, what will you do? If I won a million dollars, I will buy a beach house. Okay, right, so I would, and then you say, by a beach house okay very good guys good job okay great examples guys now notice something guys okay i want you to notice the structure let me ask you let me ask you this guys if i say if i want a million dollars i would build a new house is this correct yes or no yes 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 okay very good uh i would don't work anymore is this correct i, I wouldn't would. All right, so yes or no, guys, correct or not? No. no. No, it's not, okay? So, okay, we're gonna take a look at the structure, okay? But this one right here, guys, okay? This one is not correct, okay? Because you can't use an auxiliary after a, a model verb. See, this is a model, right? Remember the model verbs, right? So this is a model right here, okay? Anyways, all right, uh, I would invest in real estate. Is, is this correct? Okay, is this correct, guys? Invest in real estate? Yes. Yes, okay. I would buy a lot of houses, a lot of houses for rent. We're missing something yes. here. We're missing a preposition of, right? A lot of houses, right? 
I would buy the biggest smart TV in the world. Is this correct? I'm sorry, hey, let me scratch this up. Okay. Yes, right? Yes. Uh, yes. I would. Uh, I would, and you said I buy a big office and start a new a new business. Yes. No. Why? Right, we, we, we need to raise did. this. Okay. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I right. I would buy. Okay, so this one wasn't great right here. Uh, I'd like to make a round trip, right? I would like to make a round trip, so this is correct. Would like to travel with my family, okay? This is correct. Would buy a beach house, this is correct, okay? All right? So they can look at the structure, guys, okay? Because that's the next thing that we're gonna look into right now, okay? All right? So again, guys, now think about all these situations. Are these situations real or, or unreal, guys? Reales o irreales, guys? ¿Qué son? What do you think? Unreal. Right? These are unreal situations. All of them, right? Imaginary, okay? See? Because you don't have the million dollars, right? I wish, right? I wish, right? But these are unreal situations. These are still unreal situations, okay? And that's the point. All right. All right. Very good, guys. So this is the structure, guys. Do me a favor, everybody. All right. Write down the structure of a second conditional, okay? If you have any doubts, we can go ahead and answer them here, okay? So first of all, guys, remember, do you remember, guys, what a clause is? Who remembers what a clause is, guys? Who can tell me what a clause is? A clause is a subject plus a verb. Very good, okay. All right, it's a group of words, right? Group of words that has a subject, right? And a verb, okay? Get it? Very good. So if I say, guys, okay, with second conditionals, guys, we have two clauses, okay? How many clauses do we have? Two. All right, we have two clauses, okay? We have the, we're, we're gonna see more about that. We have the if clause and we have the main clause, okay? All right, but for now, guys, okay, just remember, the structure is if plus past simple, right? Do not, rem do not forget this, guys. Let me give you a tip, okay? All right? The way I don't tip. If, guys, always goes together with past simple when you talk in second conditional, okay? Cada vez que hablas en second conditional, if va con past simple. Nunca puedes usar if plus in present conditional, okay? A present conditional, guys, is when you say I would. Got it? It's in present conditional. I would. Got it? I would plus a, base, uh, a verb in base form. All right? I would más un verbo en forma base. Got it? Sounds good? All right. Let's take a look at the first example down here. Okay. Um, hello, Tati. Welcome. Uh, Tati, could you please do me a favor and help me read the first example? Ayúdame a leer el primer ejemplo, por favor. If I didn't have money. Do my homework, I will get a spelling. Okay, very good. If you, you, you good job, good job, right? I would get um this is this is this is wrong here, guys. I would get spell uh expelled. Repeat expelled. Expelled. <laughs> expelled. Right. expelled. I would get spelled. No, it's expelled. <laughs> spelled guys is like like saying uh deletriado, voy a ser deletriado. No. I didn't mean spelled, guys. I mean expelled, okay? Do you know what the meaning of expelled is, guys? Expulsado. Exactly, right? Thank you, Google Translate. No, not. Guys, do not translate, okay? Right? You got to give me the meaning, okay? <laughs> All right, very good. Sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. I'm kidding, Tati. Thank you very much, okay? No, yes. Yes, guys, okay? It is, all right? As Tati said, expulsado, right? I was going to explain it to you in English, but she wrote it up. Okay, so so yes, guys, it means that you're gonna be kicked out of uh, whatever institution you're in. It means that you're gonna be kicked out of whatever academy you're into, so on and so forth. Okay, yes, beautiful, guys. So, all right, so in what tense, guys? Who can tell me, guys, in what tense is this? What tense, guys? Tense? In negative. Well, it is in negative, okay. All right, yes, it is in negative. What else? In past. 
Okay, it is in the past, guys. Okay, so see, this is simple past, see? Now, I would get spelled. What tense is this? What form is this? That would be a better... Conditional. Very good. It's in present conditional, okay? Very good. I would get expelled is in present conditional. Got it? All right. So, see, you have the structure here. Can I switch it over, guys? Can I... Now, now I want you to notice here, guys. We're we're gonna I'm gonna teach you this part, but how many how many clauses do we have here? Quantas clauses do we have here? How many clauses mm -hmm. do we have here? We have two clauses, guys. Where is the first clause? Where is the first clause, guys? Don't they start up in a clause? If I didn't if I, do my homework. If I didn't do my homework, okay. And where is the second one? I, I would get this. I would, okay. So we got one, we got two. Okay. Remember this, be very important, okay? Remember this part, okay? You have to have two clauses here. Okay. All right. Uh who would like to help me read number two, guys? Give me you a little Go ahead. If my brother found a million dollars, he will probably buy me a house. Very good, okay. All right, so again, first clause. We have the second clause right here, right? Now, notice, guys, that I'm adding an adverb here. See, this is an adverb, right? Do you remember what an adverb does, guys? It modifies an adverb. Modify the verb. Yeah, or, or another adjective, right? It modifies, it could modify three things, right? In this case is modifying the verb by, right? So you can add an adverb in between, okay? All right, very good. So this is what I wanted to show you guys, the structure, okay? It's easy to remember it, guys, if you think about it like this, okay? You have two clauses. The first clause is a, how do you call that? If clause. If. It's an clause. if clause, guys, an if clause, right? Okay? It's an if clause, okay? And this part right here, guys, the reason why this is called a conditional is because of this clause. I'm going to say something in Spanish here. Es como cuando vos decís sí, right? Si venís tarde, ha. <laughs> so you would say, right? if you come late, ha. <laughs> you know what that means, right? <laughs> okay. So it, there is a condition, guys, okay? Hay una condición, all right? Cuando vos decís sí, right? When you say if, there is a condition, okay? All right? See? All right, so um, so we have the if clause and we have the main clause, okay? Now the if clause, guys, se llama if clause porque lleva la palabra if. All right, that's it. All right, no more signs. The main clause is the one that doesn't have the word if, okay? Now, very common mistake, guys, okay? Can I say, let me ask you this, guys. Can I say, if I want a million dollars, I will buy a house? Can I say I will buy a house? Yes. Okay. Yes, but it's, it's not coherent. You can't. You cannot. You can never, ever, ever in your life say, if I had a million dollars, I will buy a house. Impossible. You cannot say that. That's a big no. Got it? Ready, guys? Got it. Yeah. Why, are, why are you doubting? You see, I see your faces. All right. If you use will, guys, you need to use a, a first conditional. If I win, right, a million dollars, I will buy a house. This is correct, right? If I win in the present, if I win a million dollars, so this is a possibility. This is not a real situation, right? This is a possibility, right? Now, if you change this for if I won, right? Now, I want you to notice something, guys. If, even if I see if I won, am I talking about the past? Estoy hablando del pasado aquí o, o, o de qué estoy hablando, guys? ¿Qué, qué piensan? A ver, what do you think? Am I talking about the past here? Or am I talking about the present? Or am I talking about the future? What do you think? Past. Past. <laughs> All right, very good, very good. Okay, right? I like those answers. All right, very good. Good job. And applause, guys, okay? 
an applause for me, guys, because you guys are incorrect. Okay, no, I'm not talking about the past, guys. Okay, no, estoy hablando del pasado, guys. All right, guys, put it like this, okay? If it is be, just because, guys, the verb is in the past, it doesn't mean, hold on, I need to sneeze. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, That's just it. because, guys, just because, um, a verb in the, in the past, guys, doesn't mean that we're talking in the past, okay? Here's here's the reason why. Okay, uh, let me let me explain this, okay? Conditionals, guys. First and second conditional, and write this down, guys. First and second conditionals talk about the future. Got it? Got it, guys? Fifty-fifty. Uh, <laughs> All right. They talk, hold on, they talk about the future, okay? One talks about a possibility in the future, and the other one talks about an unreal situation from the present that could be, you know, portrayed in the future, okay? All right? Okay, my camera went out. There's something wrong with my computer, you know? Hold on. Can you hear me, guys, by the way? Yes. I think my computer's power supply is affecting the USB connection or something. Anyways, all right, we're gonna leave it off for now, guys. Okay. Um, hold on. Jesus. Okay. Meanwhile, guys. Okay. So you never, you're not talking about the past here, guys. Okay. All right. Um, the reason why, guys, is because that conditional affects. Um, the condition I'll fix the verb that follows. Okay, guys, give me one second. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, uh, just hold on. I'm gonna join back in. Okay, give me one second. All right. Okay, how can I? All right, hold on. Oh no, no, no! I can't do that because, uh, because otherwise I need to reassign someone else. So. Anyway, so we'll we'll continue like that, guys. I'm sorry that you won't see my face right now. <laughs> All right. Anyways, you should be seeing the presentation. So, okay, guys. So, uh, so if we keep talking about this, guys, okay. All right. Um, this right here, guys, does not have anything to do with the past. Okay, it talks about the future. It's like when you say "si yo tuviera," got it? "Si yo tuviera" doesn't talk about the past, guys. Okay, it talks about, about an unreal situation in the present. Está hablando de una situación irreal en el presente, yes? So, so it's not like, si yo tuve, all right? It's like, si yo tuviera, right? But in English, guys, there is no way to, to use, uh, that's called a sub subjunctive, okay? Un subjuntivo, right? There is no way to use that, guys. So, uh, so we use the past instead, okay? The verb in the past. But again, guys, you do not, you are not talking about the past. You got it? All right. Now, one thing, guys, can I, can, let me ask you this. Can I use the main clause first, guys? Can I use this one here, for example? You, what do you think? Can I use the main clause first? Yes. Yes, I can, yes. right? What is the only difference, guys? If I use the main clause first, guys, I would, um, if I use the main clause first, I will need to remove the comma, right? So you can say, guys, um, I would buy a big house, right? No comma, if I had a million dollars. See? Got it? All right. Very good, guys. Very good. So far, so good, guys. Any questions so far? Está ahora todo bien, guys? No questions? You good? All right. Great. Great, great, great. great. Okay, guys. So, um... So using the second conditional, guys, okay? Remember, we use it to talk about things that are real, guys, okay? Now, let me ask you this, guys. Let's take a look at the first example right here. Um, Giovanni, help me read, please. Let's read this. Okay. If, yes. I, if I were you, I would drive more carefully in the rain. Okay, now let me, okay, hold on. 
Now, if I were you, repeat if I were you. If I were you. All right, you, not you, you. You. Exactly. If I were you, I would drive more carefully. Very good, okay, rain. now, very good. Thank, thanks a lot, Giovanni, okay? Now, let me ask you something, guys. Is this a situation, is this a real situation, guys? Can I be you? If I say, si yo fuera vos, yo puedo ser vos, yes or no? No, right? It is unreal. So it's an imaginary situation. See, this is unreal, right? So to talk about unreal situations, Rafael, help me read the second one. Paula will be sad if Jane left. Okay, all right. So how many clauses do we have here, guys? What the clauses do we have? We have what? We have two guys. Two. What is what is the first clause that we have here? Paula, Paula, would, be sad. Be sad. All right, Paula would be sad, right? All right, first clause, okay? Paula will be sad. If Jen left, that's the second clause, yes? So far so good? Very good. So again, guys, okay, this is a not it's, it's an unreal situation. Es una situación que es irreal, okay? All right, eso no ha pasado todavía. Ni sabes si va a pasar, right? Uh, third example, uh, Rodrigo, help me read the third example, please. If dogs, if dog had wings, they would be able to fly. Very good. Okay. Now, this is impossible, guys. Do do dogs have wings? Los perros tienen alas. No. All right. No. Right. So this is in a, this is an unreal situation. Okay. Very good. All right. So there is yet another example. All right. So I have some exercises for you guys. Okay. Now before we continue, guys, real quick. Okay. Give me one complete example. Okay. Um, send me one complete example, guys, in the chat room uh, if you haven't uh, done it yet. Okay. For example, guys, Maria said, if I want a million dollars, I would like to travel. Ingrid, I will travel around the world with my family. But Ingrid, add the whole, add the two clauses. Okay. I need the two clauses, guys. Okay. I need everybody, guys, to send me an example with uh with a second condition on this okay now not only if you want a million dollars guys you can use another example if you want now let me ask you something else guys before before we continue all right what if it is negative guys what if i say you know if i want a million dollars right how would this be how would i say this in the past how, i mean how would i say this in negative form como lo diría en negative guys If I don't want, no, if I didn't, 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 want, didn't. If I didn't win, okay. if I didn't win, okay. Remember that this part right here, guys, is just simple past, okay. Sigan la estructura de simple past. This the key. I didn't win, right? Si el, si el presente es I won a million dollars, el pasado es I didn't win. Got it? If I didn't win, right? Okay. Now pronunciation, guys. Okay, pronunciation of this. How do you read this, guys? Let's let's read this together, guys. How do we read this? This word right here. This one. Wood. 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 Everybody, wood. 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 Guys, guys, wood. le voy a enseñar cómo pronunciar eso, okay? Can you repeat? Las dos palabras, guys, tienen la misma pronunciación. Wood and this right here, wood, right? They have the same pronunciation. No pronuncias la L. Y las dos suenan como una U. Ooh. Right? Wood. Repeat, guys. Wood. 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 Very good. Now, guys, let me teach you something else. Wood. The pronunciation, guys. All right? The pronunciation is like this. Okay? Hold on. Let me redo the drawing again, guys. Real quick. All right. You should have an idea of what this is, guys. Okay? All right, very good. So this is this is the tongue, right? Esa es la lengua, right? Uh -huh. Cuando pronuncias la D en inglés, la pones aquí. Se llama, esta parte de aquí se llama alveolar, okay? En el alveolar, alveolar rich. Rich, okay? So you place the tongue, all right? You place the, the tongue on the alveolar rich, guys, okay? David, for example, David, right? En español, lo que haces, right? You use a dental sound. Usas un dental sound, pones la lengua aquí, en los dientes. Así es como la decís en español. 
Y eso está incorrecto en inglés, all right? You don't pronounce it like that, okay? All right? You have to place the tongue in the alveolar. In the same place that you use da 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 all right? Por eso es que cuando hablas rápido, la D suena como una R en español, porque usas el alveolar. Got it? Got it, guys? All right? So, you said would. Repeat, guys, okay. using the alveolar. Would. 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 Okay, aquí, aquí no, pongas, would. no pongas la lengua entre los dientes. Poner la lengua alveolar. Would. would. Okay. Notice how, how my name sounds, guys. Cuando lo pronuncias bien, ¿cómo suena? David. See, David. And when you pronounce it, guys, it sounds like Davy. Hey, Davy. Instead of David. See, David. Hey, David. David versus Davy. <laughs> See? All right. Got it? Anyways, guys. So, uh, any questions, guys? Preguntas, guys? All right. So, um, I'm going to... I'm going to send you guys the, uh, right, I'm going to send you the exercises, okay, and then we're going to, we're going to talk at the end, okay, all right, and one second here, guys. Keep sending me your examples, please, guys, if you haven't, okay, por favor, envíenme los ejemplos en WhatsApp. I know not in WhatsApp, guys. Aquí en el chat de acá. In this chat, guys. All right. Uh, so number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Five. Six. All right. And that's... Uh, is the the other one right okay so only six of them right now guys okay and then we have a conversation practice got it all right so take a look at them guys in the whatsapp group let's work in couples and uh, yeah let's go join the rooms guys please Hello. Recording in progress. <laughs> hi, hi everyone. Hi. Hey guys. Um, number one. Just number one. Okay. Is there where no mosquito? No. Okay, if there no mosquito. Lee, uh huh, is uh, as where is D, right? The answer, not the answer. The answer. The answer. Yes, yes, guys. The answer. The answer. Mm. Yeah, my camera seems to. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Working again. Okay, number one, D. Right, number two, if. For me, it's D. D. If there were, what is, is another option, option. Was. E, was. Uh -huh. What are, is, and will be. Will be if there were no mosquitoes. There will be no malaria. There were no food. There were. Maybe. I think because the structure and the first clause. It's in simple pass. In simple pass. Huh? Yes. Yes. Um, okay. Remember that the if clause always needs to go with a 
past tense of the verb, okay? Vino Maria, ma malaria, okay. Number two. If I if I have it's called penny. If I had if I had a penny for every every can, can of soda, I'd be drunk in my life. I would be rich. It's correct, teacher. If I had, teacher number two. If I had, huh? yeah, you can say if I had. It's correct, teacher. Is it correct? That's what you ask. Is it? It is it. Is it? Is it? Is it correct? Is it correct? If I had, yeah. If I had, da da da, with a d at the end, yes. Okay. If I had, okay. In yes. number three, if her. Hair were black. Okay. If her hair were black, okay. Right. She would look. She would. Would. What is it for the? Would. She would. 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 No, you don't pronounce the L. <laughs> Do not pronounce the L. Would. 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 No, just would. 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 Yes. She would look completely different. Completely. Com completely Lately. different. Completely. Completely yeah. different. There you go. There you go. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good job. Good job. Um, the next exercise is okay. two. Can you see? If. 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 If, if I have. I a have a penny for forever can. every king of soda. Is it if I have or if I had a penny? Have. Pass. Okay, yes, it's in the past. Have a penny. I have a penny. A penny. For every. For every. Cam of. Cam. Okay. of soda. soda better we will go to the park or we'll we'll go to the park uh, the weather i can be singular known so it's the little p if the word but the structure if plus plus simple. Simple part. I if think yes. The weather. Where? Better. We. What do you think? Better. It's the weather. In the past, uh, I think it's the past. If the weather uh, was better, we go to the park. Ah, but it's not a model. Now, if the if the weather were were like, better, yes. Well. Uh, one thing, yes. One thing that you have to to um, I'll explain this to everybody too. Okay, but when you talk about an unreal situation, regardless of the pronoun or regardless of the noun, you are going to use where. You're not gonna use was because it's unreal. That's why you say if I were you and not if I was you. See, some people say if it, if the weather was better, you know, all right, but that is, Americans speak like that, right? But that is grammatically incorrect, okay? 
You need to say if the weather were better because it's in a real situation, okay? All right, so if you were, if you were, if I were, if she were, doesn't matter what pronoun you use, you're always gonna end up using where. Got it? Okay. See? So where is only for real situations? Yes. So what I'm saying is, mira, where losas con uh, they were, right? Losas con plurales. Yeah, right? Yes. Pero en este caso, cuando vos estás hablando de una condicional y es una situación irreal, tenés que usar where. No importa qué pronoun sea. Okay? If I were rich, if she were rich. So see, because you, you, would, you would say if she was rich, right? Porque she was, not she were, right? Pero si está hablando de una condicional irreal, if she were. Yes? Okay. All right, very good. Good job. Any, any questions? Any other questions? In the number three, if her hair were black, she will, will or will look? Oh, I think uh, Ricardo can answer that question for you. Um, I think in the future will look. Okay. I, 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 who's, what's, what's the name of this guy? I forgot. Uh, you know, Rodrigo, I think it was Rodrigo, I'm not sure. Oh, no, David. David had the same question. I, I explained this, right? In second conditional, guys, you're always going to use, um, you're always going to use would, always. Si vos ves que es una second conditional, porque dice where, o sea, está hablando en el pas eh, con el verbo en el pasado, tenés que usar would, nunca will. Got it? Never. Right? If you use will, you're, you're talking about uh, a first conditional. Okay? Great. Very good. Any other question? Very good. All right. Oh, to the park. To the park. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, girls? Everything good? Yeah. Yes. If the weather... I love you. If the weather... If the weather were better, we would go to the park. We will go to the park. That's correct. All right. Good job. Mm -hmm. La pronunciación es que estoy en ese. We, we will go to the park. We, we would go. Better, we would go. We will go. We'll, go. We will go to the park. Would, okay. Would. Would. No. Would, yes. Okay. Would. We're going mm -hmm. to go back now. Okay, guys. So, hey. All right. Hey, there is something, guys, I need to point out here, okay? Guys, uh, um, so when you talk, guys, every time, guys, every time, and remember this, okay? This is muy, muy importante, guys. Okay? I need to remember this, okay? Every time, okay? So, cada vez, right? Every time you talk about an unreal situation, You need to use the verb where, okay? All right. What do I want to say like this, guys? Okay. If you use the pronoun, guys, see, we also have pronoun here, all right? So if you use the pronoun here and you want to use the verb be in the past, what, what, what is the verb? What, what do you use with he, guys? He was or he were? He was. Okay. You say he was, right? What about I? I was or I were? Where? I was, where? right? I was, Service. okay. What, what about she? She was or she were? She was. She was. was, right? She was, okay. What about it? It was or it were? It was. It was. It was, it was. It was guys. It was, right? All right? Cada vez, guys, que usas singulares, tenés que usar was, right? Tenés que usar was, okay? All right. Now we use you. You was or you were, guys? Where? You were, right? And singularity and plural says where con you, okay? All right. Uh, what about the we? We were, we was or we were? We were. We were. 
we were. were. What about they? They was or they were? They were. They were, they were right? Okay. All right. Very good. So Akio says, Akio says, where? Now, for an unreal conditional, guys, si vos vas a hablar de algo que es irreal, see, if you're going to talk about unreal conditional, you, all right, you always use where. Siempre vas a usar where. Si es una situación irreal. Got it? Got it. Got it, guys? So in this case, guys, if I say, hey, if, you, do you say if, um, if I if, wear uh, Superman? Yeah, if I, hold on, no, if he, if he wore, if he was, guys, wear. or if he wear? He wear. If he wear, wear. wear right? Hold on, oh, yeah. wait, the answer, guys, the answer is, I, you don't know. Why are you saying that you know, right? Todavía no sabe. Le voy a poner una, le voy a poner uno que es bien tricky, ¿ok? If I was root. Usualmente, guys, ya saben que I, right? I was, right? So, is this correct, guys? If I were root, I am sorry. ¿Qué creen? Correct or incorrect? Why is that incorrect? Because it's not a uh, imagination situation. It's exactly, uh, guys. something can can. Yes, a plus for Ingrid, guys. Good job. Okay, when are Ingrid? Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. oh no, I said an applause for me, guys. Okay, thank you. All right. Now, Ingrid, Ingrid is right, guys. Si yo te digo, si fui rudo, hey, I'm, uh, hey, uh, Ingrid. Si mira, este, si fui rudo, lo siento, right? It means that a situation happened, right? No estoy imaginando, sino que quizá fui rudo, right? So if I was rude, I'm sorry. That is the right answer. Because here, guys, I'm talking, I'm not talking about an imaginary situation. I'm talking about a real situation or maybe a situation that might have happened. Una situación que podría haber pasado, right? Que tal vez pasó, got it? Si ese tal vez existe, guys, si esa posibilidad existe, no es una situación imaginaria, got it? Right, but if you notice, okay, we're not following the the we're not following the, the second part, right? So you say here, guys, if I, you know, so if I was rude, right? Okay, see, see, what is hysterical, right? If I was rude, right? Now this is not, guys, a second condition anymore, right? This is just, you know, I'm talking about the past. Got it? So, but everything else, guys, whatever else, guys, follows the second conditional structure. You're gonna just where, where, where. If I were, if she were, if you were. If they were, if we were, whatever. Yes, got it? Does it make sense, guys? Tiene sentido? Yes. Right, great, yeah. great, 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 okay. All right, guys, okay, so, I'm gonna stop sharing for a while, guys, and I need to ask you something, okay? Um, it is it is very important, guys, okay? Um, necesito que todos, guys, okay, uh, pay attention to this, okay? I need everybody, everybody, guys, to pay attention to this. Please, the platform, guys, okay? The platform. Um, it needs to be finished as soon as possible. The sooner we finish the platform, the sooner we can start the next module, okay? Entre más rápido terminen todos la plataforma, guys, entre más rápido se puede empezar la... Uh, I have no idea how to say this in Spanish, but you can start, you know, working on, on the documentation for, for your next module. Al, puedes, puedes empezar a trabajar en la documentación para inscribirte al siguiente módulo, yes? Alright, entonces guys, um, no me digan guys que hay alguien aquí que no haya terminado el midterm, ok, todo el mundo tiene que haber terminado ese midterm ya, la sección 4 guys tiene que estar terminada, alright, ahorita solo debería faltar la sección 5, si pueden hoy terminen la sección 5 guys, si necesitan guys ayuda con eso, remember, eh, el jueves, bueno el último día de la semana siempre les ayudo con la plataforma, right, so, but finish it right now guys, ok, there is also a final assessment, okay? There is a final assessment at the end of section number five. Hay un final assessment, guys, al final de la sección cinco, okay? Solo nos quedan tres días, guys, all right? How, how do you feel so far, guys? How do you feel with the class and everything? How have you felt so far, guys? Como se feel everything? How have you felt everything so far? Comments, questions, complaints. What do you think? For me, it was a, a good experience. It's better than my 
initial expectations. That's great, man. What expectations do you have? <laughs> I don't know. All right, that's great. That's great. Okay. All right, that's that's good, guys. Any, anyone else? For me, it's good. And the start, I feel nervous, but I, right now, I feel good with right. you. I'm not, uh, I was going to say, I'm nice. It's nice, okay? It's nice. Nice. It's I nice. feel nice. All right, very good. All right, I'm glad to hear that, guys. Okay. All right, anyways, guys. Um, so that, that'll be all for, for today, guys. Okay. If, uh, if, 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 if you do, guys, if you if you finish section number five today, guys, and you're doing the assessment and you don't know something from the assessment, I will help you personally, okay? Personalmente te voy a dar. Si, si me envías un screenshot de que estás trabajando en el, en, en el assessment final. Yes? Got it? All right. Very good, guys. So thank you very much, guys. Have a very good night. See you guys. Take care. Good night. See you. See you. Bye.